as children, we spend a lot of time with books that convey a sense of identity through animals. So I grew up with books like Aesop's Fables and Frog and Toad, and we associate, or I associate, the certain characteristics of, you know, the fox is sly or the owl is wise, and sort of taking on those personas uh, has translated into the illustrations and drawings over the years. I also recognize a very troubled and also deeply connected relationship that humans have with our domesticated animals, our pets in our homes, and then the wild. And so looking at that relationship I, I and, and disconnect that humans have with animals and nature is something that has seeped its way into the characters that I choose to insert. I also find a great deal of beauty and magic in nature and want to preserve the 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 animals and what I see as something really important to um, how we survive in our own ecosystems in clay. So in some ways I see drawings of polar bears or drawings of certain species uh, being preserved in these clay tablets, something that maybe perhaps in the future will be excavated and sort of studied as these are the animals that once roamed the earth and may not always, whether or not that's because of humans' imposition on the earth and the way that we're changing the natural processes of our current geological epoch. Scratching into clay, carving, printing, drawing, outlining, any sort of interaction with the surface of clay and making those marks is a profoundly visceral experience for me. It is as though my arm is this conduit from my brain to a material that's extremely receptive to recording marks. So whether I'm approaching a wall piece or what I would call a tile or a tablet, or if I'm drawing on a pot, I am processing my thoughts and my emotions and reinterpreting them as symbols and sometimes very cryptic stories, sometimes more obvious illustrations. All of those characters and images and objects that end up being translated on the clay pieces, I think interact with the viewer differently if it is something experienced on a three-dimensional vessel as opposed to a wall piece. I find that a wall piece being this normally a square framed uh, image is something that confronts the viewer in a sort of single impression, uh, sort of walking up to it and connecting the dots, so to speak, with what is happening in the story is a different experience with something that you have to move around. So when I'm making a vessel and thinking about how the images are gonna wrap around the the piece, they become a bit more linear. There's more of a linear story. Whereas the uh, tile pieces uh, act a bit more as an impression of a narrative or what I would like to think as a poem, sort of what leaves you as kind of an impression or a slight feeling rather than a didactic uh, storyline. Composing images, color, and marks along with texture on a flat wall piece challenges the conceptual component of my art making process. It is more cerebral. It is exciting for me to create a composition that is balanced and also provokes meaning and elicits an emotional response in the viewer. The vessel making process, the sculptural practices of making coil built forms challenges the physical desire to interact with the medium. The demands of working with clay 
when you increase scale, when you increase volume, is something that excites me with my need to be active and my sort of impulses to be really physical with the material of clay. I certainly love rolling out the slabs and I love the torn edges. It reminds me of my printmaking experiences, uh, working with torn edges of paper and just sort of those subtle, subtle bits of beauty that come through with the way that clay responds to how you interact with it. So even though the physicality is a different, at different levels, when it comes to focusing on a smaller wall piece, there is, there is a physicality that pops through here and there with how I tear the edges or how I connect certain textured portions and then how that interacts with the image.